Shalom, brother Ara, coming to you with another video. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Double Shalom to all you Akim and you Aqua, those of the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. And uh, I just want to do a short lesson. You know, last week have been really interesting. You know, two people that I know. Um, asking questions about what's going on. So you're going to have questions pouring in in these times. Some are going to be sincere. Some are going to be uh, just to um, just for the Lord to condemn them because it, you know the Lord has to give you the spirit of faith to believe in His words. But ultimately, you're seeing that the fears is beginning to weigh on these people. I know one of the elders did a lesson on Cardi B and how. She was expressing her her fear for the things that are going on with Russia and Ukraine. Okay, and those two questions I'll, I'll mention, but I want to bring out some scriptures here. And I'd be curious to know your thoughts, those who, you know, who are able to view this lesson. You know, you can post precepts and uh, give me your take if you have any precepts. Because there's a lot of precepts I could bring out, okay, you know, as we know a lot of them. But for the sake of the lesson, I just want to hit the point. Amos 5 and 4, it says, For thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, unto the house of Israel, which Israel represents the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, which include the scattered Israelites. Okay, a lot of Israelites, you know, who are a part of our bloodline, um, come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who look like heathens. Okay, and it says, reading on, For thus said the Lord unto the house of Israel, Seek ye me, and ye shall live. All right, if you want to live, your top priority will be coming to the men of the Lord, you know, the apostles and elders on down the Great Millstone, okay, the like-minded camps to get the answers because the Lord set up, you know, uh, overseers, ambassadors, you know, who are his mouthpiece. Now, the scriptures say, he that hear of you, hear of me. He that despise of you, despise of me. So if you're hearing men of the Lord, the men that's giving you the 100% truth according to the Bible, you're really taking heed to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And, and when these times continue to increase and the whirlwind gets worse, the fears that the Lord is going to bring on these people are going to increase. The Lord is going to give you protection. All right. Going to give us protection. All right. Those of us are the hopeful elect. But we need the Lord to, to live in these times. OK. And one of the questions that I received, OK, was from um, uh, someone I knew uh, in the world. When I first came into the truth, I told him what I was getting into. You know, you get excited when you first come into the truth. And I told him, hey, look. We're Hebrew Israelites, you know, Lord willing, I'm going to start preaching and whatnot. And, and eventually, you know, the Lord gave me the opportunity to, to preach. And so he knows what I'm into. So he recently called me and he called me today, matter of fact, this morning and was like, what are you going to do when MOTB comes around? Now, I haven't talked to him about this in a while. You know, you start getting wise and realizing that Jake really ain't about it. So you move on and, you know, you move with discernment, but he never he never forgot about that conversation that we had about the MOTB being, getting ready to be mandated. All right. And so he called me up today about it. And I told him, I said, I'm a trust in the Lord. You know, we supposed to be building a personal relationship with the Lord, repenting, you know, getting the names, which I didn't tell him the names because I wanted to see if he would be receptive to my answer. But he wasn't. OK, it didn't sound sexy enough to him. That's what I perceive through the spirit. Okay, but I'm going to bring out this precept here. And I'm going to speak more on that. But uh, Proverbs. Let me see. Proverbs 4. Is it 4? Yeah, there you go. Proverbs 4 and... Um, there we go. <clears throat> Proverbs 4 and 5 says, Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Verse 6 says, Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. So wisdom is what we're supposed to be seeking. You know, and we're seeing that the wisdom of this world is, is vain and unprofitable. A lot of these people are so-called educated based off the standards of this world. Got degrees, you know, um, you know, know a lot of different things and have, you know, high statuses in this society, but it's really not going to profit them. 
it's not going to profit them at all. You know, the riches that these people have is not going to profit them. Scripture say, riches profit not in a day of wrath. So we're supposed to be getting this wisdom. And wisdom and knowledge is going to keep us stable in these times. And with that wisdom, in order for you to actually uh, use the wisdom, you have to have faith and hope in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord has to gift you that. It says, verse 8, exalt her and she shall promote thee. Matter of fact, I skipped verse 7, so like it. Verse 7 says, wisdom is the principal thing, meaning it's the most important thing that we should be getting. Nothing else should be more important than getting this wisdom. And you have to be receptive to it. You got to be open to taking heed and listening to, you know, uh, the truth. Okay? Because the truth is going to set you free. Everything else here, we're in bondage. The only the way we're going to be free is through this word, man. It's truth. Okay? But it says, therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. In order for you to get understanding, we have to what? We have to hear. And hear the whole matter. So we talked about other things. You know, but the main thing I wanted to tell him is that the only way we're going to be able to survive these times is through the God of the Bible. I didn't give him the names again because I threw the nugget out there. He didn't catch it. You know, uh, trusting the Lord, getting wisdom, the wisdom of the scriptures is what I told him. And he proceeded to say, well, the real the real wisdom, this is when I knew that he wasn't going, he wasn't ready or he, it wasn't for him. Is when um he was like, he, he was saying the, the real wisdom is when, you know, you have farmland you, you can grow your own crops and you know you, you you have firearms and you can build a campfire this and that now don't get me wrong it'd be nice to know these things right survival tactics and things of that nature but you don't put your trust in that now the scriptures say since i'm already here in proverbs uh three and five it says trust the lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding okay so we supposed to be trusting the lord with all thy heart with all our hearts Meaning our mind. So when you fully trust in Yahweh by Shimia was shy, yeah, you're gonna use wisdom and discernment. You know, you're gonna have food to carry you over for a few days or whatever, but you're not gonna put your trust in uh, you know, building an underground bunker or storing up food, you know, uh trying to use that as a, a way and means of surviving these times. You really wanna store all your treasures in seeking Yahweh by Shimia was shy. Now, the Lord gives you discernment to get certain things, be prepared for a certain event that's up, up and coming. Okay, like, you know, getting gold and silver, things of that nature. Yeah, it's cool. You know, get you some gold and silver, whatever you can afford. But you know that's not going to save you, right? And so, he and I having that conversation, you already know what's going to make it past first level. So, it was no need to give out the names or anything of that nature. But, Jake is seeking answers, right? Jake is looking for, for answers, but... You know, they're not, and it's up to the Lord, but a lot of them, they're not receptive to the truth, okay? I'm going to bring out another precept, and I'm going to bring out the last conversation I had with someone else. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. So, as we see the whirlwind, the destruction and everything being prepared and it's increasing the fear the Lord is waging on this place. We're going to see who's stable in these times, right? We're going to see who has the, has the um, firmness and using the right discernment, making good judgments in these times. And one example is that of that is when, you know, they uh, made it mandated for, they mandated for us to drink that poison, the juice. Okay. But, those of us who knew not to take it, knew not to trust our enemies, we waited it out, put our trust in the Lord, and I feel great about that, man. The water you held by Shemiah was shy. We made it through, and the Lord is like, look, you ain't have to worry about nothing. Yeah, you know, you, you had to make some adjustments. You couldn't go in certain restaurants. You might have not been able to keep your job, you know, but the Lord also made it to where it should. Some, some of us were able to get checks from, you know, the Biden bucks, man, get some money from all this and, and you know, scripts say use the world, but don't abuse it and still didn't have to drink the juice, man. So it, it, the wisdom and knowledge is going to keep you stable in these times. All right. But a lot of a lot of Jake's are going to lose their mind because they don't have the answers. And when the answers were given to them, they didn't receive it. You know, but again, it's up to the Lord. Isaiah 33 and 6 reading on says and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times 
is what's going to keep you secured in these times. Okay? Comforted. It says, in strength and salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. And it starts with fear. Okay? Fearing the Lord. Fearing Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. And if you really fear the Lord and the Lord put that spirit on you, you're going to fight tooth and nail to get the answers from his men. Because when you read Malachi... Malachi 2 and 7 It says For the priest's lips Should keep knowledge And they should seek the law at his mouth you know, the, the Lord set up priests Who's going to have the knowledge And who's going to be giving you the knowledge Through the Holy Spirit and The scriptures say um, Jeremiah 3 and 15 And I will give you pastors according to mine heart Which shall feed you With knowledge and understanding Okay, so the Lord set up ambassadors, overseers, that's going to feed <clears throat> feed you with knowledge, the knowledge and wisdom of the scriptures. Okay, that that's going to be beneficial in these times. You know, so the knowledge is at the priest's lips, and the Lord is making it known that these men are out because this word is being a controversy. This word has made its way to the gates of the noble. Now they're plotting to figure out how they can uh, come against us. You know. Because this word is, is uh, sharper than any two-edged sword. You know, it's, it's cutting them, man. It's cutting these elites. And they know their time is short. Okay? So if you truly want to see the Lord, you'll be, you'll be, at, you'll be at the uh, doorsteps of, of these men. Going out there on the highways and byways, watching the sit-down lessons. You know, being edified, reading. Okay? It reads on. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So... These men the Lord set up are the messengers of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. And, what a, and a true messenger who is sincere and really a man of the Lord is going to be speaking 100% truth according to the Bible. They're not going to be telling you things that's going to uh, make you feel good. It's going, they're going to tell you the things that's, that's true. And if you're a truly uh, elect member, you're going to be uh, delighted to hear these things. But you're also going to fear the Lord. Okay, You're going to be delighted knowing that there's a way out, that we have a chance. But you are also going to be afraid knowing that what's coming down the pipeline is going to be something that's never been since the earth was created. And that the power of the Lord is getting ready to be revealed, man. You know, at a level we, we can't even imagine. All right. So the last one is um, while I was on the live stream with the, the, the two heads of uh, my camp, the GMS North Carolina Raleigh camp, Brother Hawad and Brother Kabad, I believe it's called Open Forum, last Thursday. I got a text while we were talking about Salakia. <clears throat> my uh, phone went off. But anyway... Um, going back to the subject, the other conversation while I was doing a live stream with uh, Brother Hawad and um, Brother Kabad, open forum last Thursday, I believe, we were talking about World War III, and I got a text message from someone I know, um, and she sent a, a question like, what's going on with Russia and Ukraine? Now, she doesn't know what I'm into, but she, we, we've talked about politics, things of that nature, and you know, she wanted answers because she see how everyone else is panicking they have no answer so she's going to the one that she's comfortable with knowing um who may have the answer and this is all of the lord giving you know giving me uh sending me to the right teachers and having me fear him receiving edification to be able to get the you know the answers in these times because we just read isaiah 33 and 6 having these answers and having the discernment of things you know that you should and should not do in these times it's going to keep you stable so it's going to be more of that just just letting those of you brothers out there know there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be hitting you up for for answers come soon if not now when you read ezekiel 7 and 26 i thought about this precept here it says uh, i started 25 destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none so a lot of people think peace is coming because they get to take their face coverings off it's optional now they're not being uh, pounded with, get your you know what, to, to, to care about the next person, you know, who works with you or whatever. They're not being forced with that as much anymore. So they think that no destruction is coming. They think that peace is coming. Okay? But it's not. Okay? No peace is coming. Destruction and death is coming. And as we see more things are being revealed from the Lord, people are going to fear more. All right? But... Some are going to come to you for answers. Some may not. Okay. But ultimately, it's up to the Lord whether or not those who do come to you for answers uh, believe it. 
because the Lord had to give you that gift of faith. It reads on, verse uh, 25, destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none, no peace. 26 says, mischief shall be upon mischief and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest. Remember, the priest's lips shall keep the law at his mouth. So it's going to get to a point in time where these people are going to be looking for answers. It's going to be too late. They're going to go to their Christian pastor, you know, Pastor Pork Chops, <laughs> and he, he don't know what's going on. The whole time he was lying to you and didn't have the answers. Okay, so a lot of people are going to be mad at these false leaders that they trusted in. Okay, they trusted their life with. Who's not going to be able to guide you in these times. But Laura said he gave you pastors according to his heart. He gave you spiritual guides who's going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. But it's going to be too late after a certain period of time. Okay, we're getting ready to see that come soon. It reads on. But the law shall perish from the priests and the council from the ancients. So the Lord said he's going to have the, the tongues cleave to the roof of the mouth of the prophets. Meaning he's going to shut their mouths come soon. No answer is going to be provided to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans who was being procrastinators with this word. There's nothing we can do for you. There's nothing we can do for ourselves rather than uh, seek the Lord and continue to make our calling and election sure, hoping that we're part of that number. Bring out two more and I'm gonna close out. Amos 8 and 11. Again, I'll be curious to know what precepts that you, you know, you Akim may have, you know. Amos 8 and 11, it says, Behold, the days come Say the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. We know famine is going to come. We know there's going to be a dearth in the earth, okay? A shortage of food, you know, uh, a lack of bread, you know, uh, you know, no food on the shelves come soon. But this is talking about a different famine. It's talking about a famine of the word, okay? And that's that's really going to be. Um, a major game changer, a pivotal point, okay, a uh, major milestone. Verse 12, when you when you see that the men of the Lord is no longer on the highways and byways and YouTube is shut down, you can't get edifying lessons, you can't get comforting words from the scriptures and breakdowns, that's when, is, that's when you should be concerned if you don't have this wisdom. Verse 12 says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north, even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. So people are going to be looking for answers and they ain't going to be able to find the get the answers because the Lord is going to shut it down. You know, and he's going to let the four winds loose, which represents destruction. You can read about that in um, Revelation 7 and 1. So he's going to allow the destruction to then uh, pursue at a heavy level, man. Okay, so last precept. You want answers, get the answers while you can. Because it's not going to be uh, always, the doors of mercy is not going to always be open, man. It's going to it's gonna close come soon, and the Lord is not going to allow you, you know, to be um, edified. Sirach 5 and 7 says, Make no tarrying and turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And, I mean, you can tell... Again, a lot of our people are, they're really drunk off that Babylon juice. They don't think that America will ever be destroyed. The house of the proud is an abomination to the Lord. It tells you that in Proverbs. The Lord eventually was going to destroy this place, whether you believe it or not. These missiles that these other nations are, are uh, you know, polishing, <laughs> they're polishing them and getting them ready to be shot off to, to, for this place to be destroyed. But Jake is tearing with his word, thinking that they can um, always buy their new pair of Jordans and collect Air Force Ones, you know, continue to, you know, smoke weed and game bang, do whatever that, you know, they've been doing and making the low, the seeking the Lord a low priority. But it's not going it, to, you, you're going to regret having that mindset. It says, um, and thou shalt, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So all the things that you, you worship in this world, 
you're going to realize that it's not going to save you because at times it's coming in that we're coming into money's not going to save you okay your uh house cars your guns whatever you have is not going to save you the lord yahweh is the one that will save you if you put your trust in him and you have faith and believe in his word so there's going to be answers more people seeking for answers in these times some will be sincere some will be a part of the elect that will come in the last hour but ultimately it's up to the lord to bring them in you, you throw nuggets out there to them you give them a little bit to see how they receive it if they can't receive it then we're moving on but these people know they're Israelites the word is going out across the four corners of the earth the Lord's getting ready to shut this shit down man meaning this society when I say shit okay this world is getting ready to perish all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone Shalom